Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices. Today, we're going to talk about three easy superfoods that have research-backed benefits. So, starting out with our number one and probably most commonly used coconut oil. So, coconut oil has been shamed in the past for being high in fat. And with this too, they're not all created equal. So you want the unrefined, organic if you can, coconut oil to use for these benefits or to gain the maximum out of these benefits. So if you're still a little bit on the fence about coconut oil, let's take a look at some of the benefits of it. So coconut oil can melt fat. Now, while it's not gonna make you instantly slim or it's not a super weight loss drug, it actually helps you lose weight. So coconut oil contains medium chain fatty acids that when consumed allow the body to convert fat that's stored in your cells into energy. This in turn increases your metabolism. Using it consistently you can actually start to lose a little bit of weight as you speed up your metabolism and the coconut oil actually allows you to use that fat as energy. So rather than depleting yourself and storing the fat away like some other items do, you can actually use that. So you're using that fat as a fuel and burning it more consistently, raising that metabolism and naturally allowing your body to get rid of it. Number two, coconut oil fights infection. So once again, those fatty acids, 50% of which are lauric acid, which is a naturally occurring substance found in breast milk, is actually a bacteria storm chaser and can help eliminate many different types of bacteria. It does this by demolishing their lipid membrane and attacking the actual organism itself. So how cool is that? So number three, coconut oil reduces the risk of heart disease. There's a link between high levels of bad cholesterol and heart disease, and the link between the lower levels of heart disease risk and higher levels of good cholesterol. So coconut oil has a remarkable impact on blood cholesterol levels, thus reducing the risk of heart disease. And number four, Coconut oil promotes good oral health. So just by adding a little bit of coconut oil to your oral health routine helps keep harmful plaque and inflammation that cause gingivitis at bay. So this comes back to oil pulling, if you're familiar with that term, where you're just swishing the oil through your mouth. And one research thing suggests that participants who oil pulled with coconut oil had reduced plaque buildup and those with plaque-induced gum disease actually experienced a 60% decrease in the signs of gingivitis. And number five for coconut oil, coconut oil reduces inflammation. Chronic inflammation can be behind all Western diseases. And that comes down to our lifestyle pretty much. Too much sugar, too much of the things that are going to inflame our system. So this too can include cancer and heart disease. So by reducing the inflammation in the body, we therefore reduce our risk of developing any of these life-threatening diseases. If you're on the fence about it, why not try switching to coconut oil? It might take a little while to get used to the flavor, but it has so many benefits and probably even goes beyond this as well. Now for our next little one, we're looking at maca powder. So maca, is a root vegetable. Normally grows in the Andes Mountains ranges and believed to be the source of outstanding strength and stamina of the Inca people. So it's a ground hugging root, which looks like a radish or a turnip. Now it does come in a range of colors. So which one's the best? Who knows? Now it has a sharp sort of taste, like a bit mustardy or like wasabi. Now traditionally the Inca warriors would consume this root plant to boost their strength and stamina, so especially when going into war or on long trips. Now it is packed with numerous nutrients such as vitamins B1 and 2 and vitamin E, filled with magnesium, copper, zinc, potassium, phosphorus, magnesium, iron, sodium and selenium. So it is a jam-packed little superfood. The powder, which you can buy anywhere, but once again do your research and choose the one that's best for you or that's going to be most pure because it's also a source full of phytonutrients. In this video, what we're talking about here are some of the other benefits of it, which, number one, it reduces anxiety and depression. Most of us live stressful lives these days, and we're constantly in that fight or flight mode, hardly taking a time to relax, which then depletes us and drains us and leaves us more stressed and worried than we were, you know, if we were just taking it easy, just taking it day by day. We didn't have work and phone calls and emails and everything else to catch up on. So by consuming maca, we boost our immune system. 
which can then balance the endocrine hormones and maintain our optimal homeostasis. Because of its high levels in B vitamins, antioxidants and minerals, it contains the perfect combination of nutrients to fight anxiety and depression, which is a huge, huge thing in our world today. Number two, it may improve brain function. So maca powder being the superfood that it is, provides nutrients that benefit our physical health as well as our mental health. So as containing all those beautiful minerals and nutrients, it also contains a fair bit of fatty acids, including omegas 3, 6, and 9, which of course help our brain function. And also on top of that, maca includes 18 out of the possible 22 essential amino acids. And they also play a crucial role in improving our brain function, which too, studies have shown, consuming foods that have a huge amount of amino acids can improve our communication skills. So if you find yourself often tongue-tied or not knowing what to say, or you just can't think properly, why not consume a bit of maca powder? Add it to a bit of a smoothie. That's what I've been doing for a little while. I'm out of it now, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go grab myself some more. But I've found the benefits too, not just in physical strength, but being able to think clearer, get through the day a lot easier. And moving on to number three, maca also protects us from the sun. With it being summertime in Australia, and we love to get outdoors and go hiking and sit by the pool, the beach, whatever it may be, it can cause very much skin cancers, or melanomas, which then lead to skin cancers, and all sorts of other nasties. Now, while you might not want to use sun care creams or whatever, because they may have harmful chemicals to your skin or cause rashes or whatever, why not introduce a bit more maca into your diet? Because once again, it contains those polyphenols and phytonutrients. Now, the polyphenols comprise of powerful antioxidants that neutralize free radicals in the body, reducing the risk of degenerative diseases of the nervous system, heart diseases, and various types of cancer, including skin cancer. These antioxidants also have an anti-aging effect on the skin. So if you want youthful, beautiful looking skin well into your 30s and 40s, need I say more? And also on top of that, the omega-free fatty acids and the selenium help reduce UV-induced inflammation and protect the skin from the photoimmunosuppression, photoaging, and photosensitivity disorders. So it's a beautiful, wonderful <laughs> superfood. As we'll find out in tip number four for maca, all of these incredible nutrients also help increase our exercise and sports performance. And it does this without overstimulating the body. So <sighs> your pre-trainers and everything else, you can get rid of those if you replace it with maca, because it's loaded with 18 energy producing amino acids and immune boosting vitamins that promote a balanced hormonal functioning. So if you're after something that's not going to overstress your adrenal glands, like our over caffeinated or sometimes close to amphetamine gym boosters, that will eventually lead to impaired performance. Maybe give maca a go. And funnily enough, using maca powder, actually strengthens your adrenal glands, which then in turn improves your endurance and stamina in sports. And also all of those amino acids help repair your body. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, having a look at spirulina. Now spirulina is like an algae, but it is yet another little superfood that we use for energy. Now with this one, it can, an overconsumption of it can cause a bit of a growth inside of you and give you candida-like sort of symptoms. So it can lead to that sort of growth of candida in your body. But why would we use spirulina then? Well, one, it can reduce blood pressure, which is good for some, or balance blood pressure more so. Especially if you have high blood pressure, consuming a little bit of spirulina a day will actually help bring that down. Now spirulina can do this by relaxing the arterial walls which it does by stimulating a process mediated by nitric oxide. Now it does this by having a peptide called SP6. Now SP6 interacts with the important signaling pathway known as the P13K or AKT. And this interaction leads to a release of the nitric oxide and consequently then a drop in blood pressure. And there are five other more amazing things that spirulina can do. It can help lower bad cholesterol levels while also lowering triglycerides. It can reduce high blood sugar. So if you've been out on the road, chomping through Maccas or whatever else, 
taking some spirulina might actually help reduce the amount of sugar in the bloodstream and just allow yourself to eliminate it more easily. Now it is a powerful antioxidant as well, so it can fight the damaging free radicals, once again, like the maca can, and help protect your system. And it's also a powerful anti-inflammatory, or it has a powerful anti-inflammatory effect. So if you are aching, stiff in the joints, or want to release all that inflammation, add some spirulina. Now you can find it normally in tablet form or even a powder form. So add that to your smoothies as well and make yourself a big super smoothie because it offers also a concentrated dose of vitamins, which includes B vitamins, copper, iron, and omega, and a whole bunch of amino acids as well. And gram for gram, it's one of the most nutrient dense foods in the world. That is three little superfoods and just about five little things for them all. With that, are you going to introduce them to your diet? What are your thoughts on these superfoods? Do you believe it's all just make-believe, that your diet's just fine the way it is, or are you willing to put some of these into your body and experience these benefits, or see if they give you any benefits whatsoever? But anyway, guys, I've been Rob Murphy. Hope this has been helpful for you. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe on this video, and I'll see you in the next one.